And welcome, Destiny Christian Church, to Destiny Devos. And I'm so glad to be with you today. And uh, I want to talk to you today about the idea of, of um, and this is, of course, here, here's a scripture we're going to read. And I'm, I'm calling it uh, Tried and Tested. And um, just a few minutes, just to share this with you, um, the scripture goes like this. It says, no testing. And, and when the Bible says testing, you know, it, it often is the same word as trial at the same time, like trials and testing. No testing has overtaken you that is not common to, to, every, uh, to everyone. God is faithful, thank God, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength. But with the testing, he will also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. So this is, this is a powerful scripture when you think about it because uh, it shows you that when God puts us through the paces, so to speak, right, that he has something in mind. He's not, he's not just um, making this stuff up. He's not just giving us, you know, uh, pain for the sake of pain. But he says right in the scripture, this testing is common. This is common. If you're a believer, if you're a follower of Jesus, it's common to be tested. It's very normal. And uh, so look at it that way in a sense that, that what I'm going through is part of following Jesus. It's common. It's, it's not out of the ordinary. That, in fact, if you read Hebrews, he says, whoever the Lord loves, he chastens, right? Or he, te or he trains. The word training and chastening are the same word often. But th the scripture also suggests this, right? You have everything you need to overcome the test. Why? Because God is faithful. He's given you. And let's, let's read it again here. All right, let's read that scripture one more time. No testing has overtaken you that is not common, right? To everyone, not just some people. Then he says, God is faithful. And so testing is common, but then you have everything you need to overcome the test. Why? Because God is faithful. He's going to get you through it. And then number three, he, he always gives you an exit, a way out of the situation. And the way out is, is often what we don't think it is. I'll never forget one of my professors in college once was praying really, really hard for an answer to something. And he realized that he wasn't getting the answer. And one day he kind of just screamed to God, what is wrong? What am I doing wrong? And all God said was this, you change the reaction and I'll change the cause of the problem. And instantly he realized that he was waiting for God to change something and God was waiting for him to change himself, his heart. That the way he was looking at it was wrong. So we have to look for God's exit, not our own escape exit, his exit, his way, right? So I just want to encourage you that, um, uh, be encouraged today that, that if you're going through the test, don't let it destroy you, but let it create you, let it build you, let it, let it do something in your life. And... And, and know that God always has a way through it and a way out of that test. And so continue to check out the church website. There's always changes on it. We, we always try to keep it updated and, and check out our Facebook. That's where we post the sermons and our YouTube channel. We post there are a lot of sermons there and we have some good speakers. We're blessed to have good speakers. Thank God. So till next time, um, I'm so glad that you guys can just join us. Till next time, God bless you.